The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Before we proceed any further with concave mirrors, let's use figure 18 here to introduce spherical aberration. Ideally, all the parallel rays will meet right at the focus. However, for spherical mirrors, there's some deviation for light rays arriving farther from the mirror's principal axis. This leads to distortion and such poor focusing is what is known as spherical aberration. Now, Coming over here to figure 19, a well-documented case of substantial spherical aberration took place with the Hubble Space Telescope mirror. And as we see on the right, astronauts had to later install corrective optics and the resulting image of the core of the galaxy M100 was seen with dramatic improvement. Now, if we come back over here to figure 18, aberrations can be reduced by making the mirror only a small fraction of the sphere. Furthermore, the best type of mirrors are parabolic mirrors, which can be used to eliminate spherical aberration. However, they are more difficult to construct. If we take a look here at figure 20, parabolic mirrors reflect rays parallel to the mirror's axis, so they converge at the focal point. And that's because any line parallel to the parabola's axis makes the same angle to the normal of the parabola, as does a second line drawn to the focus point. Recall angles of incidence and reflection are equal. All right, let's now shift our attention towards image formation by concave mirrors. Now, on the previous slide, we had just learned that uh, parallel rays close to the principal axis striking a concave mirror are going to reflect through 